Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're going to be discussing a new tier list for the year. So starting with January 2022. But without further ado, let's proceed to that tier list. Okay, so we start off with our tier list with C. So these four really don't... Um, don't really have much traction in terms of usability if you are in, in kind of in in mid going up so they probably have uses if you are still beginning uh, beginning the game like rico when i started out i started out with using rico the rest rayoma midori and ophelia um, i haven't used but some I see uh, using Rayoma in PvP in the earlier stages. But definitely, guys, these four will will not really see that that much usage in any content unless they are you know they have a certain you know advantage in that content. So that is why they are in tier C. So usually they are used by mostly beginners. Okay, for tier B, so um, little little no little change here in tier b so we have sanada here as uh, another mainstay from last month we have suzumi suzumi um at this point there have been a lot of vanguard that are better than her her function is mainly um in terms of um you know in, in terms of pve and selected stages that you need to have a lot of summons but again she's very situational at this point and both yamazaki and norris mostly have the same function they excel in really one area and it's to take out the back line uh, apart from that um um no norris might have an edge over yamazaki but at this point it's really hard to get copies of her and at the uh, you know the if, if she has a less you know less copies and if you don't have more copies of her her basic attack isn't that much um in terms of dealing damage she's more valued for her ultimate skill next is going to be arena so be arena is definitely one of i think underwhelming in terms of specialist uh, although um, Irina has Ignite, but that's just it. And she attacks in a line, so all of them get damage. But again, her damage is very, very small. So that is why she's in tier B. Akechi, also very niche. Um, single target, high damage. And um, uh, also a good uh, figure for your Ignite team. But again... His function is very, very niche as well. And we have a new one here in tier B, which is Sani. Sani for Frost, you don't really need her in, in a Frost team. You have other options to bring in a Frost team. And also her damage isn't really quite impressive. Um, although she's a specialist, um, I think she needs more in her kit for her to be used in frost teams okay so let's proceed to our next which is tier a so for tier a um no change for vasily vasily a is basically your average um tier for all the figures here so vasily's here vasily good very good for um aoe stun alfred also good but um, I think his place is already taken by Ren. So Alfred, good for lifesteal and for uh, for attack speed as well. Um, Astaroth, um, not re kind of average um, for for a for a defender. Not really excelling, uh, to be honest, in his uh, what do you call this in his uh, role. Yuna for Yuna, there have been a lot of uh, Vanguard already. Um, Yuna is actually good for uh, burst damage, but really that is what she is only good at. Um, that burst damage for her ultimate, um, she can actually you know uh, one shot some of some of the figures figure enemies um, that is in front of her. But 
if she doesn't, she's actually prone already to, you know, to a counter attack uh, once uh, she, you know, she gets, she, she lets her enemy run free. So Zhao Yu here, I think one one of the most reliable um, healers. Nothing too special about him. He's actually crucial more in Ignite teams. So most of his utility is uh, is actually um, he's one of if if I may say the top three, but he's in the bottom three. So next is going to be Re. Again, Re has been dethroned by a lot of militarists already that are that are coming out or that already came out. So Re um, single target is good with single target with bosses. She is still used actually in the big three, but um, apart from that, I don't think she will see any action in other uh, content. And for Camille, Camille actually is. Uh, his lock ability is very situational. Um, could be good in PvP, but apart from that, he's, it's really hard to get copies of him as well. And uh, apart from the lock, um, I don't think he excels in anything. That is why he's in uh, tier A. And to round out our tier A is going to be Aoi. Aoi, I actually um, put up from tier B to tier A. I realized that her shield and the buffs that she gives to summons is very, very, uh, very, very good. Um, but again, her role is really limited to the buffs and to to the shield that she is giving. So again, she's in tier A. Um, in some stages, she might excel, but others, I don't think she will be needed as much. So we're going to go to our tier S. So for tier S, we start off with uh, Zhao Yun. So Zhao Yun, attack speed, life steal. Um, I like his kit definitely. He is a pseudo tank for um, as a vanguard. Crucius again, life steal as well. Uh, very good, re reliable tank. Yoko, I had her at tier S S before. Now she's tier S. Um, apart from her ghost ability. Um, I don't see her going up to SS anymore. So next is going to be Erixia. Erixia is um I'm actually on the fence in putting her up in SS tier. I'll see in a couple of months if uh, she performs well if I level if I get more copies of her and put her at at least 4 star or 5 star peach. Let's see if she can really shine more then I think her value will skyrocket to SS tier. Mako is um, one of the healers that um, I think is uh, underrated, very underrated. Uh, most usually use uh, Zephyr, but again, she's usually used as a secondary healer, but definitely could be your primary healer for your team. Sakura won also one of the most underrated uh, figures that we have. So silence um heals in her basic attack so again you just have to level her up to a couple of bit more stars beyond three star for her to be able to be good or to excel in supporting your team so the next we have um uh rin rin is a newcomer at the uh, vanguard she replaces alfred for tenma um she deals a lot of damage. Um, uh, she also has life steal, attack speed. But definitely, when um, she she gets a lot of damage and she cannot recover, definitely that is her big uh, weakness. But again, if she does a lot of damage and she deals damage first, then she is definitely a force to be reckoned with. So Vazerwin, uh, Osuki, both of them are here. Uh, Osuki is a very good support um, specialist uh, for Frost teams. And definitely Va um, Vazerwin is a very good complement to him. Um, without uh, Osuki, Vazerwin's damage is just uh, above average. But when you have Osuki on your team, her damage is definitely going to skyrocket. 
um, in terms of uh, what they call this dealing more damage because enemies are frosted. So ideally, you pair them up. Um, Vazor win. I'm tempted to put at SS, but um, I think the only drawback for her is the cost of her ultimate. Um, really, the the um, the energy cost really is really high. That is why I think she can't be up at SS. Okay, so last two would be Xanthacane. So Xanthacane, again, um, one of one of the best single single target damage dealers that we have, uh, DPS wise, and um, she will be here for a time. But definitely, as new um, figures come in, she might drop to a probably in the future and the last on s tier is going to be harriet so harriet again a very good support um all around uh, she gives blind especially if she, she's going to be valued more for bosses and um also valued for her summons as well so those pesky summons the red and the blue ones and um i think she's going to be very very good um if you bring her more than three stars so probably four or five stars she you know will really show her value so let's proceed to our last uh, tier which is ss so again we have here megan of course megan one of the toughest defenders that we have terrific shield absorbs a lot of damage uh, what can i say about her lubu um i actually elevated lubu to ss um had some time trying out his kit and definitely I'm impressed with his attack speed and all of um, the other synergies that he has in his kit. Definitely one of the most underrated um, figures that we have. Um, if you don't have Lubu, try to get him or try to use him. Definitely you're, you're going to be happy when you're going to be using him. Um, very good PvP uh, and also in PV and also mostly all around all of the content so try lubu out guys you won't be disappointed that you got him so next is going to be zephyr so zephyr here um again what can i say uh gives energy and heals uh again um she's going to be sh shining more if she has more hp and also four to five star um peach will also help her improve uh, on our performance while she's at SS tier. Uh, Zhu Liang, probably one of, I think, if there is another tier above SS, um, Zhu Liang would be at SSS. Um, this guy is really clutch uh, shields and um, prevents lethal damage. What can I say? Um, he saved me a couple of times. And definitely, if there's another tier, he's going to be above SS tier. So next, again, um, Zarola. Probably, again, another with going to be triple S tier. Um, DPS queen, really, um, in terms of uh, taking out bosses, taking out mobs. You'll never regret, you know, uh, leveling her up. So that is why she's at SS so the last four that we have okay so before i go to the last two on your right um they're kind of uh they're kind of conditional to this tier list so with we'll go with ember iran so very very good support um especially if you have a tank or a vanguard in front so heals um again heals that uh, that unit heals herself as well so very uh, terrific support especially if you consider pv pvp she's going to shine there um in that content and last for and not the last but uh one of uh, the ss as well is yuina yuina for her dual skill if you get her even to two star or three star peach she's going to do wonders for your team so the last two that is in this tier list is going to be Ayane Okada um, and uh, Ai Hinohara. So Ai Hinohara, definitely I'm confident that she's coming. She's been teased in the contents uh, in, in you know the, the story of the game so far. And um, I think she's going to be released uh, this coming Friday. So 
I put her here in the tier list already. So definitely because of the debuffs that she gives, she's going to be a good militarist, guys. Um, I would suggest you save up currency for her. Um, do not pull for Norris anymore. Save up for her um, because she's going to be terrific. I think for most of the content as well, especially going to be good in, in PvP. And for Ayani Okada, I just want to go back to her. Um, I actually, she's not confirmed in any of the content, not even a tease, but um, in terms of the Taiwan timeline, she is there with uh, the four that was released, Nori, Rin, Ai, and Ayane. So I'm putting her here because again, just want to inform you guys, if you have the chance to get her and if you have a lot of currency, please do pull for her. She's going to be terrific, you know, terrific tank, probably one um, top tank, even better than Megan, probably. But um, head to head, she gives shield. Uh, what else? Um, apart from shield, uh... She has, I think she has damage reduction, if I can recall. But again, she's going to have a good kit overall. Not only does she give shield to herself, but also to all her allies. So apart from Megan, Megan only gives shield to herself. But for Ayane, I think she's going to be a terrific addition to um, any Galatea team. So... Again, both of these are very conditional, but I put them here so that you guys could be aware. Just in case if their banner falls or drops, you have to pull for both of them. I and Ayani Okada. So again, guys, that ends our tier list. I'm going to put a link to this uh, tier list in the description. Sorry for the last time, guys. I messed up the link, but now I'm, I actually got it. I'm going to get it right and show a viewable link or in the description of this video okay guys so for those who are still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and take care guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here